It was a rite of passage in our family, had been for generations, and I couldn't put it off any longer. I had to step into the dark realm and come back with demon ichor as a trophy. There was no telling how long it may take. For my brother, he was gone for over a week. My sister, however, the oldest of my siblings, and the first to undergo this tradition, managed to pull it off in a couple of hours. Growing up in a family of demon hunters, things tend to go a little differently. While most kids my age were learning to swim, tie their shoes, and ride a bike, I was learning signs of possession, where to buy silver bullets, and how to use religious symbols to create a protective barrier. The hardest concept for me to master was that it wasn't about the religious figure being represented. It was about the conviction with which you wielded it. Standing before the massive lilac glowing portal in our basement, I mentally ran through all of the instructions I'd ever been given relating to demons. I think I'm ready, I said finally. There's no thinking to this, said my dad. You're not ready until you know you're ready. I'm ready, I confirmed. Checking the cross in my waist and the holy water in my pack, I stepped warily through the portal. Instantly, I was alone and surrounded in a void. Hey everyone, if you like this story, be sure to check out patreon.com slash fluidfiction for more flash fiction, short stories, and chapters. It only costs $1 a month to read my daily journal entries, and you get to suggest as many writing prompts as you want.